All right, everybody, so we're off to go pick up my little sister from the airport. She's coming to do a 10-day detox, so we are literally on the way. We're literally sitting in traffic. That's why we're not moving yet. Um, but yeah, let's see how this goes. I think it should be good. Laura's excited, I'm excited. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm in Washington. It's true. <laughs> Again. Fox pilot was awful. <laughs> the whole time it was like. Now we're Again, all together. Clearly. <laughs> we just did this. We're off to get some more supplies at the Walmart. Look at all our groceries. This is your fault. You just had your last meal. <laughs> How's that make you feel? I have a stress bump. That's how I feel. <laughs> I have to go to all this fruit, all these veggies in the back of the car. Tell us how you feel. I'm hungry. I'm not happy about going to bed early. But I'm excited to see how the difference of what I feel from now to the end is. So you're not excited about the I'm enema? I'm not excited about an enema. And I'm already really hungry, so I don't know how I'm going to feel three days in. You feel okay. Let's hope. First drink of the day, huh? Other than my small glass of water. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not so good after the first few drinks. <laughs> We're checking in. It's been, what, a couple hours? Two hours. It's been like two hours. You haven't moved from the couch. <laughs> more liquid in my body today than I have in the past two weeks. You didn't even drink any of your water. I'm on drink four, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I got a little water. You want me to drink that whole thing? Yes. <laughs> I need Jesus. Give me my Bible. Oh my gosh, I'm so full right now. You ready for the cinema? Enema time. Please don't take that with you. You got this. Everybody's done it. Okay. Um, set your timer on your on your phone for 12, 12 minutes. 12, 12 to minutes. 15. We good. You have we any good? questions? <laughs> do I have to? You have to do this. <laughs> this is quintessential. Okay. Watch something or read to keep your mind. That helps a lot. Okay, and it's the right side. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have fun. Don't be afraid. I'm <laughs> I actually feel pretty good. I don't, not too hungry. I'm craving a corn dog, but. So random. And an ice cream sandwich. Oh, okay, well. It's a good word, Laura. She did it. Day number one. She successfully completed it. <sighs> Starting the program was rough. I was excited. It wasn't hard to do everything, but I really missed food. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sucked. It got harder as the days went on. I started not wanting to drink the juices and not wanting to do the enemas and the sauna got way hotter every time, but... What are we drinking over here? <laughs> the uh, herb drink, which is absolutely killer. Is this the pear's head drink? Mm -hmm. Why did it smell just, like just that? Just do it quick. <laughs> you gotta just... You just gotta do it quick. Okay. <laughs> wasn't bad at really? all. Yeah. Start of the day, 7.30. It's supposed to be 6.30, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, 7.30, wake up, lemon flush. The worst way to wake up to a person who doesn't like to drink anything in the mornings. <laughs> 24 ounces of straight lemon juice, or lemon water. Mm -hmm. um, then you get hit with the poultice if you're still not eating, which is the beginning. Mm. You got breakfast drinks and juices and her herb drinks and gallbladder flushes and all day. Maybe you should do this in the second half of the day. 
can't even put that down. This How's it going? Right there. There's so many glasses everywhere. You gotta drink more. Oh, you're almost halfway done. I'm more than halfway done. You don't know math? No. <laughs> <laughs> drink right. black. It's charcoal. And then typically the enema straight into a sauna. Uh, 30 minutes as hot as it can get. Um, and then an immediate jump into a hot and cold shower, 30 seconds of each. That immediately turns your day around, especially after doing something like the enema. <laughs> And then as soon as you get out, time for a poultice drink. And then you just get hit with more and more and more. You started really strong though. Like you felt really good in the beginning. Definitely. I think up until I started trying to implement a little bit of food, mm -hmm. I was doing pretty good. Um, around day six, I started to get kind of cranky. I was staying up a little bit later. Um, that probably had a lot to do with it. You don't come in your hair. You want me to film like this? Yes. Half of my hair? Yes. Happy Fourth of July. Woo! Okay, darling, grab the firework and run. Aww. <laughs> I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot more about making sure my journey is my journey. My truth is Jesus' truth. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but not exactly going off of what everyone else is telling you. Um, kind of proving it to yourself and asking them to prove it to you as well. I feel a lot more ready to tackle on the outside world, the people who aren't, who don't know Jesus. Like, I feel like I'm at such a happy and secure place now in my spiritual walk that I can now go out and share these things, even with whatever comes with it, the mockery, the shame, <laughs> everything else. Overall, I feel like I went from an average five to like a ten on the feeling good scale. Hmm. Is that right? I'm feeling so bad. Tell me how it feels. Just like it looked. I'm just trying to worship. <laughs> I gotta drink cayenne and only God knows what else is in here. Garlic. <laughs> There's garlic in this? Yeah, it's garlic, cayenne, orange juice, water, lemon juice. Where's the orange juice? I don't taste no orange juice there's in orange, here. There's orange juice in there. There's no orange juice. Don't listen to him. That's true. The game plan is to continue on with the healthy eating. Um, now I have some cookbooks, some resources to be able to learn about what exactly is good for you, what isn't good for you. And my game plan now is to move into my next step to start preaching and to start helping and mentoring other people who are who were at the place that I was or who aren't ready who haven't ever been introduced to Jesus like mm. now I feel completely set in stone and ready to help anyone else who needs it day number eight how are we doing you're in the same chair by the next same couch like you have been this whole detox so I've lost some weight mm. lost about four pounds I have lost significant bloating in the bottom of my stomach. I wake up happier some days. Well, you go to bed earlier. If we too. go to bed on time. <laughs> <laughs> if we go to bed by about 10, normally I wake up pretty happy. I'm a lot less cloudy headed. Yeah. Keep going. Two more days. Two more days. Two more days. I'll be there. That's okay. Soon. <sighs> the cold sheet treatment. Well, we weren't able to raise my temperature all the way to fever. We got pretty close little over a hundred. It was the second that that sheet got wrapped around me. I just started crying for no exact reason, but it kind of unlocked all these insecurities and anxieties that I had about my spiritual walk and about my life at home and kind of just allowed me to get that out there. So now I know better ways to fight it and how I can lean on Jesus in the parts where I don't feel like I can do it myself. She's dead. I cried a lot. Why? That was just emotional release. That was a lot. <laughs> and the time has come. What do you got there? You got a vegan corn dog. Don't worry, I also have cucumbers That's and right. homemade ranch. Mm -hmm. 
as well as some spaghetti. Spaghetti might be too much, but we'll see. Uh, I don't want to go for a walk. This is literally your last walk. Don't say it like that. That's so sad. <laughs> no more enemas, no more drinks. That I'm happy about. Day 10. How are we feeling? Sad. Why? I gotta go home. Okay. I am happy. I had my corn dog. My vegan corn dog, don't worry. It was my last one. But it's sad, I'm gonna leave all this. You mean the wilderness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Gotta go back to fog and pollution and trains and cars. 10 out of 10 recommend this. 9 out of 10 recommend this, if you're ready. <laughs> it's definitely something we're doing. You feel better emotionally, spiritually, physically after, I know it sounds draining to do 10 days not eating food, but you do really, really feel better and clearer in your mind and your body. What about baptism? Definitely a step I wanna take. Um, hopefully I can do that within the next few months if not sooner. Hmm. I've learned way more than I needed to. <laughs> Still have a lot to learn. You're well prepared for sure. Yes. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. I hope and pray that this is the next step for me. It's what I can do because I'm ready to change my life and completely turn around. And hopefully that can motivate my family and my friends and others to do the same. What's happening? There's a bat in the house! There was a bat on the whole thing. It flew into it. Did you just. Room. I can't hit it with the you broom. You gotta shoo it! Oh, I don't want to walk next to it. He's freaking out over here. Don't crowd him. Don't crowd him. He's up there. Though. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Don't do it, buddy. It's not worth it. Look on the roof! Why I have no idea. You gotta go. He's got to go. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't fly back there. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> He's looking at me. This guy's terrified. Okay, open the door. Don't hit him with the broom. I'm just trying to shoot him. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Hit him with that? No. Where'd he go? He's on the. He's right behind the best team. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this way. Let him fly. He's good. He's good. Here he goes. Here he goes. He keeps flying in circles. Turn the light off. He doesn't know where to go. What am I supposed to do? He's brave. I'm telling you. Ah! Don't yeah, find yeah. me. Don't find me. Good. Good. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What are you doing? He's going upstairs. Here we go. Hit him in the face. No! 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 Go to the camera, go to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was so terrifying. What happened? Okay. okay, he's in the box. It's okay, we're bad. That was ridiculous right now. That was insane. Please don't fly into my face. Okay, I'm being gentle. I'm being gentle. Don't fly into my face. Please don't fly into my face. Go, buddy. Bye. No, no. no. <laughs> go that way. Go somewhere else. Don't <laughs> Okay, let's go. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Ridiculous. Oh my. How do you feel? I feel good. 
Are you sure? Glad we did a detox. We weren't prepared for that. <laughs> yes, Davila. No. Yes. That was terrifying. Welcome to the country. <laughs> Never mind. I'm ready to go back home. <laughs> I think that's a good end to a video. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> there was a bat in the house. Straight up, a baby bat. There was a bat in house. here. We had to put him in the box. It's okay. He's gone. We put him outside. Yeah. We caught a bat though. Oh my and we did it so calm and collective, it was oh, hilarious. Okay, yeah. I heard. <laughs>